Hey guys, it's Al with Tech Made Easy, and thanks so much for clicking on our video. So, you're thinking about getting a dual blade select cut Ego electric mower, or maybe you're thinking of upgrading from another brand or even an older model Ego. Well, you're in the right place, and I purchased all of these, so keep in mind this video is not sponsored. Now, I'm going to be covering the brand new 2024 aluminum deck mower that launched this year. There she goes with that nice aluminum deck. I'm also going to be covering the 2023 model with Speed IQ and that beautiful digital display that's discontinued. 2023 got discontinued because of that Speed IQ, but I got to tell you, I really love this digital display. They didn't launch a 2022 model, but I'm going to be covering the 2021 model. And that was actually a Select Cut XP model. 2021, well, this was the second Select Cut with more torque and more power. Lastly, I will be covering the OG, the 2020 first Ego Select Cut model. And there she is, the OG 2020 select cut so in this video i'm going to be covering the specs of all the mowers to help you make the decision i'm going to cover deck your deck height your deck material rpm speeds which have a turbo button self-propel speeds batteries and chargers included torque information and much more again i will not be doing any cutting in this video but i'm going to be leaving you with video links in the video description for a lot of the reviews i've done on these mowers again this is not sponsored so just keep that in mind so i hope you smash that like button hit subscribe and let's get this party started Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. Here's a slide on what we're going to be covering in today's video. If you want, hit pause, take a look at it. But we're going to go ahead and move on and get into this video. So let's start off with which mower is which, just to help you out. So to the far left, you've got the 2024. So this is the Ego Select Cut. This is LM2200 SP or LM2206 SP. Now keep in mind the 06 SP comes with the charger and it comes with the battery. The 2200 does not. Then we move on to the 2023. That is the LM2167 SP or LM2160 SP. Again, the 7 includes the battery and the charger. So LM2167 SP is your kit. Then we skip 2022. We go right to 2021. They didn't come out with a select cut mower in 2022. Interesting, I was waiting around. But 2021, this is the LM2156 SP, also known as the LM2150 SP. Again, the 56 SP comes with a battery and a charger. Then we've got the OG right over here in the right-hand corner. This is the first one that came out, the first dual-blade select-cut mower. And that is LM2135 SP. And that's the battery and the charger, or the LM2130 SP. We're going to jump in now and we're going to go over costs. And I'm not going to be covering the non-kit models. So I'm just going to cover pricing for the kit models. On the left side, you've got the LM2206 SP that comes with the battery and the charger. That's $1199. All right, almost $1,200. Comes with a 10 amp hour battery and a 700 watt charger. That's a turbo charger. We're going to cover blades and stuff later on on which of these come with blades. Moving over to the right, the 2023 model, 
The LM2167 SP is $999. Discontinued, though. Very hard to find if you can find it. I, I really like that display, I'll be honest with you. That came with a 12 amp hour battery. And, of course, the 700 watt turbo charger. Then we go to the 2021 model, which is the third one to the right. And uh, LM2156 SP, $849 with a 10 amp hour battery and a 700 watt charger. And the last one on the right, the OG from 2020 LM2135 SP, was selling for $749 still to this day with a 7.5 amp hour battery and a 550 watt charger. Um, in a moment, I'll go ahead and show you the chargers so you can see the two chargers and, of course, the batteries. So here are the batteries that come with the select cut mowers, depending on the model. This is a 7.5 amp. This is a 10 amp hour. And this is a 12 amp hour battery. Now, you'll notice that they all have a fuel gauge, which is nice. So I like that. So let's talk about which mower came with which battery. Now, the 7.5 amp hour battery came with the 2020 mower, the LM2135SP. All right, so that's that there. Then they started bundling the 10 amp hour battery. 2021, the LM2156SP came with a 10 amp hour battery. And the 2024 model, the LM2206SP, also came with a 10 amp hour battery. Now in 2023, last year, the model that came out with the Speed IQ and got discontinued, but that came with a 12 amp hour battery. So let me just say one thing about the battery warranty. Normally is a three year warranty, all right? But every one of these mowers, except the 2020, by the way, either comes with a 10 amp hour or a 12 amp hour battery. Now the 2167 SP, last year's model, that came with a 12 amp hour battery. So any model that comes with a 10 amp hour battery or a 12 amp hour battery, if you register it, you actually get a five year warranty. So keep that in mind, that can be very helpful. So here are the chargers that we're shipping with the Ego Select Cut dual blade mowers. To the right is a 550 watt mo um, charger, and to the left is a 700 watt charger. Um, you'll see here that you do get 25, 50, 75, and 100. So it's got the, the lights here indicating you know, how far your battery is charged, right? Then you've got the newer model now that actually connects to Wi-Fi and has a sync button here. And you can see that on the Ego app, so you get that. And then you've got the five bars here like you would on a battery. So the same fuel gauge as you would have on a battery. So what models come with the 550 watt charger? Basically only one, the LM2135SP that came out in 2020 and is still a really good mower, let me just tell you. So that one's the only one. Otherwise, 2021, LM2156 SP, 2023, LM2167 SP, and 2024, LM2206 SP all came with this beautiful 700 watt charger. Really, really nice. Let's take some time and go over some runtime information on each of the models. Now, before I go into each of the models, I want to let you know that this is kind of based off of cutting an inch and a half of grass, right? You're not cutting eight inches of grass. Also, you're, you're cutting dry grass and your blades are sharp. Just keep that in mind. Now, let's look at the 2024 model. 22-inch aluminum deck just came out comes with a 10 amp hour battery and as you can see they're saying you can get about 70 minutes of runtime if you use a 12 amp hour battery you can get about 85 minutes now on the bottom right hand corner take a look 
you know, mode one obviously is going to give you that 70 minutes, right? Mode two is going to really spin the blades a little faster. So you're going to get about 60 minutes. And mode turbo is going to give you 45 minutes. Again, that is based off a 10 amp hour battery. Now on the bottom left hand corner where the arrow is pointing, they're telling you that a 2.5 amp hour battery all the way to a 7.5 amp hour battery, they don't recommend it for optimal tool performance and runtime. Here's some information on the 2023. Now again, this is discontinued. You might be able to still find it. This is the one that comes with a really nice display, but it got discontinued because of that um, speed IQ. Now this has a 21 inch polycarbonate deck. It came with a 12 amp hour battery, which is really cool. And they say you could get up to 90 minutes, which is nice. Now on the bottom right hand corner, Eco Mode would give you 105 minutes with that same battery, the 12 amp hour battery. Uh, normal Mode would give you 90 minutes, which is what they're stating there. And Turbo Mode would give you about 80 minutes. And on the bottom left hand corner, they are saying a 2.5 amp hour battery all the way to a 10 amp hour battery is not recommended for optimal performance and runtime, which is interesting because I would think the 10 amp hour battery would work fine on this as it does with the 2024. Here is the 2021 model. Now this is the Select Cut XP and uh, 21 inch polycarbonate deck. This came with a 10 amp hour battery. Now they're stating you can get up to 75 minutes of runtime. If you use a 12 amp hour, you can get up to 90 minutes. On the bottom right hand corner, they're showing the loads. So as you can see on a light load, you would get up to that 75 minutes. On a medium load, right? Meaning thicker grass, higher grass, you're gonna get up to 60 minutes. And a heavy load, you would get about 40 minutes. And again, on the bottom left hand corner, they are stating that you cannot, you know, you could use, but 2.5 all the way to a 7.5 amp hour battery is not recommended. Now let's look at the last one, the 2020. And this is the first Ego Select Cut dual blade. It's 21 inch polycarbonate deck. And uh, it came with a 7.5 amp hour battery. And as you can see on the breakdown, they're actually showing you all of the runtime for all of the batteries, which is very interesting. Now, um, let's go over, first of all, this is about a 60 minute runtime with that 7.5 amp hour battery that's included. Now the bottom right hand corner breaks down by load, right? So light load, you can get up to 60 minutes, which is what they're stating with the 7.5 amp hour battery. A medium load, 45 minutes. A heavy load, about 30 minutes. And on the bottom left hand corner, they are stating that the 2.5 amp hour battery is compatible, but not recommended for optimal tool performance and runtime. So how do you maximize your runtime? As shown in the Ego manual, a couple of tips. Number one, use the extended runtime lower blade. But keep in mind that is not going to act like a high lift blade and it will not act like a mulching blade, but it's really not that bad. No, number two, cut no more than 1.5 inches of grass in one pass. Very important. Move the mower at a moderate pace. That is really important. I've seen people running while they mow. And that's where you get those mohawks and those blades of grass that stick up. Do not cut wet grass. Look, I've done this. I have cut wet grass because I've had no choice because it's been raining for so many days. But they're saying, don't do it. You're just not going to get a really good cut. Make sure the blades are sharp. That is so important. You, you probably have to cut, uh, sharpen your blades. I would say two, maybe three times in a season if you live in the Northeast. Obviously, if you live in an area that's sunny most of the time, you're probably going to sharpen your blades, I would say about five times in a year, maybe six times. And lastly, make sure the underside of the deck is clean so that while the blades of grass are spinning around, they're getting cut up by the blades and it's creating a really small mulch that lands into the grass and actually feeds the grass. Here is a video we did on battery basics and tips. I'm going to put the link to this video in the video description. 
now we're going to continue on. We're going to talk about torque. All right. We're going to start off with the 2135 so you could see how it evolved. So the uh, LM 2135SP, the 2020 model, had 7 foot pounds of torque. Then in 2021, right there, the LM 2156SP got 8.3 foot pounds of torque. They skipped 2022, went right into 2023, and kept the 8.3 foot pounds of torque right there for the LM 2167 SP. But things changed in 2024 with the new aluminum deck. This model now has 11.1 foot pounds of torque, which is amazing. Now let's talk about the deck material and then we'll talk about deck size. Now, deck size doesn't always mean that you get a larger blade, so just keep that in mind in general. So, the 2024 right here, LM2206 SP, has a cast aluminum deck. It's 22 inches. All right, so that's a huge difference. These are all polycarbonate decks, and they're all 21 inches, just to keep it simple. Now, cutting height adjustments. Um, so let's talk about how many settings you have, and then I'm going to show you the mechanism. So the LM2206 SP, this one here, the 2024, has eight adjustments, and the 2023 has eight adjustments. Now they go down from one to four inches on these two models. Once you go into 2020 and 2021, you're getting one and a quarter to four inches with seven adjustments on these two, all right? Now the mechanism, and then I'll show it to you, you've got two adjustment settings here, one for the front and one for the back on the new cast aluminum. Otherwise, it's a one hand height adjustment for all three of these. So these are all one hand. That is a front and back mechanism. Let me go ahead and show you that. So here's the 2020 model, LM2135SP, and you'll see here that it actually has seven settings for adjustment. And really all you need to do is pull this out. You can drop it really low, or you can pull it up and really have a higher cut. Sometimes you have to grab the handle just to get leverage, but it's really easy to do. Again, seven settings. Now, you'll see here on the 2023, uh, they did add eight settings. So you've got eight settings there, seven and eight. All right, but same mechanism. Now, let me show you the new 2024 with the two adjustments. And here it is, 2024. And you've got adjustments in the front on the left side and again on the back on the left side not on all four sides like some mower companies would do as you can see here they really put steel here and um, you know let me try not to shake the camera too much but basically all you do is you pull the lever in and you adjust this and again, it isn't easy, just so you'll know, but you just basically pull out and adjust to where you want the front to be and where you want the back to be. Now, let me uh, take a close look at the back here. I'll just lift this up for a minute so you could see that it is a similar, you know, a little easier to maybe adjust the back, especially since I just lifted it up. All right, but very, very strong mechanism. And uh, I'm not a fan of this. I'm, I'm you know, your average homeowner, so I like the ease. I'm not looking for the perfect cut. I'm looking for a good cut. Continuing on, these are all dual blade mowers. They have a standard blade on the top. The bottom blade installed is usually the mulch blade, okay? And then you normally would have options. Some include uh, blades, some don't. We'll talk a little bit more about that. The turbo option, though, you're going to get a turbo option on 
the 2023 model, LM2167 SP, and you'll get a turbo option on the LM2206 SP. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Now, the previous models still can ramp up on their own. They have an auto-sensing feature, but you don't get the ability to turn on turbo if you need it. You know, you might say, I need turbo. I just got to cut through this brush, and so that's what's nice about turbo. Um, I'm going to talk about blade speed, and then I will actually go ahead and show you the turbo options on these two guys. So, uh... LM2206 SP, right here, 2024, is the fastest. Now, I'm going to talk about no load blade speed, right? This is not maximum. This is no load. So you're going to get 3,100 RPM on the 2024 model. No load, right? Just spinning. No grass, nothing. On the 2023, the LM2167 SP, you got 2,800 RPM. The 2021 model has the same 2800 RPM, no load speed. And then the original, the OG, has 2700 RPM. Again, this is a no load. Now, they did start to disclose the maximum speed RPM, but they don't always post it in the specs. I can tell you the 2024 model, when you turn on turbo, you have a 3,350 uh, max RPM. This also can be controlled by the Ego app because this has Bluetooth. All right, so we'll talk a drop more about that later. Not much, but just keep in mind, this has Bluetooth. So you get the Ego Connect app. It's a special app. It's not the same app. And you're able to make some adjustments and, and go from there. All right, let's take a look at the turbo real quick. I'm going to start off with the 2023 because it has one of my favorite features. It actually has a display. Look at that. And as you can see, you can actually change turbo, normal, or eco mode right here from a click of a button. I also like that it shows the battery percentage. Now, they didn't come back with this display in 2024. So here is the LM2206 SP. And all you have is really this button right here that'll go through one, two, or turbo, as you can see here, by clicking this button. And that's it. Now we're going to talk about self-propel. So most of these systems here are going to be touch drive. And last year they came out with that Speed IQ. And boy, was that a nightmare. I didn't like it. Most people didn't like it. There were some that liked it. I'll put an image up real quick so you can see the video we did on our final judgment on Speed IQ with our opinion. There it goes. So the 2024 model, 2206 SP, has touch drive. They brought that back because it just works. But the 2020 model and the 2021 model both had touch drive. It just worked. So they were like, let's just bring back what works. Now, I'll, I'll show you the handles for a minute so you can see touch drive a little bit and that speed IQ just to show you it. But uh, the speeds, just so you'll know, 2024, it's uh, 0.9 miles per hour all the way to 3.1. And 2020, it's the same, 0.9 to 3.1 miles per hour, and 2021, the same, 0.9 miles per hour to 3.1 miles per hour. Now, last year's model, you couldn't tell because it was an auto feature with that speed IQ. Let's take a look at the touch drive controls real quick and that speed IQ that they built into the handle. Here it is, right? I mean, take a look. You've got 2020, right? And you can, you know, hold it with your left hand. You can hold it with your right hand. And here's where you just make the adjustments on how fast you want to go. That's off. And then the next click is going to be that 0.9 miles per hour. And then you can go all the way up to 3.1 miles per hour. So and you could hear that. Okay. So... And that's it. Uh, of course, you've got to pull the bar 
otherwise you're not going anywhere and that's your start button and uh, same thing for 2021 and then last year they experimented with this hot mess look at this it's built into the handle and I'll tell you it just didn't work for me you know and I was honest in my review and this thing got discontinued it was a great idea I like the screen they need to bring this back really like it and then look 2024 brought it back it works why change what's working so there is your real quick look at uh, touch drive and the hot mess speed IQ let's take it the look at the wheels now so all of the models have seven inches in the front and nine in the back except the 2024 model this has nine in the front and nine in the back and you could see that I mean you know let me lower this real quick you see how big those wheels are right front and back and then if you go over to one of these guys if I could just move one of these away for a minute you'll see that they all have seven in the front and nine in the back and they do good they're ball bearing wheels they do a good job honestly let me also add, this is a rear drive system. It's not an all-wheel drive and it's not a front-wheel drive. It's just a rear drive system. What about an IP rating? Are these IP rated? Well, they are. They all have the same rating, IPX4. And I'll put a message on the screen on what IPX4 means. Now, what about bushel capacity, the bags that come with them? So the 2024, they, they upped the bushels. The bag can handle 2.5 bushels now. The previous models are all two bushel bags that they come with. Side discharge, do these guys come with side discharge? Well, that's kind of funny because every model, Select Cut XP 2020, 2021, 2023 came with a rear side discharge and 2024 1200 bucks didn't come with the rear side discharge now maybe if you're watching this video in 2025 they'll start to pack it in the box they do that I'll make a video with a brand new a mower and they'll make changes to the mower they'll add like height settings and stuff maybe they'll start throwing it in the box but I will tell you now I was one of the first to buy this mower I didn't get a rear side discharge and I had to call them to get it and then I finally got it in the mail now what about a high lift blade and I'm going to show you that in a minute because that's a, that's a blade that came with the 2020 2021 and 2023 but guess what it didn't come with the 2024 $1,200 mower didn't come in the box they gave you a sheet of paper and they said if you register in 90 days they will send you one again why should you have to call again I'm not happy with it as you could tell and I'm just making it you know it's it's weird right I could buy a $749 mower it'll come in the box today you could still get this all right the extended runtime blade yep it didn't come with this mower but it came with all three of these mowers. So realistically, when you bought these mowers here, these three models, you got four blades, two installed. Your upper blade, your lower blade was usually your mulch blade, and then you received a high lift blade and an extended runtime blade in the box. Not when you spend 1200, but that's probably gonna change. I hope it does. Let me go ahead and show you the high lift blade and the extended runtime blade. I'm going to first start by showing you what the rear side discharge looks like. Now, this is an older model. The 2024 model is a lot bigger. I don't have it, but I just wanted to show you that it basically goes in the back of the mower and it will shoot grass you know over to the right side this didn't do a good job in my opinion again I'm not a rear side discharge guy 
if I would have done some side discharging, it's one thing, but rear side discharge, um, I just found it to be messy. And I think that's why they in, uh, went and changed the 2024 uh, side, rear side discharge that you can call and get. I hope you can still get it, but it is definitely more efficient from what I've read and what I've heard. And again, it installs like that and it just shoots the grass out from the back. So here's what the rear side discharge looks like installed. As you can see, it kind of hangs over this back right wheel and it'll shoot the grass out as you're moving forward. It is open on the bottom. So, you know, I'm not a fan of rear side discharge, but I thought I'd show you it installed. So here is the high lift blade and the extended runtime blade for the 2020, the 2021, and the 2023. All right. I do not believe these will fit in the 2024. Um, they might fit, but I'm going to show you the ones for 2024 in a moment. But you could see here that this thing basically, as you can see, it lifts. And that's the reason why it's big. And it'll actually lift the blades of grass and uh, it's really good for bagging it's really not made for cutting but as you can see there what that looks like and this is the extended runtime blade it is a lighter blade it is a simple blade it probably won't be the best blade but you know this is because it's light and because you know of the way it's designed they say it'll allow your battery to last longer and this was included in 2021, 2020, and 2023 models. So here are the blades for the LM2200 SP and the LM2206 SP, the 2024 mower. So this is the high lift blade, and they say they improved it. Now, no, I haven't used it yet. I'll be honest with you, I have not used this yet. But, uh, you know, so that's what that looks like. Now, this is the one that didn't come with the mower. Again, I hope it changes, but you had to call in to get this after you registered, which I understand registration is important, but for 1200 bucks. Now, here is the, what they call the gator blade or the mulching blade. This is pre-installed already in the mower, and they give me an extra one when I bought the mower. Again, I would have preferred to probably receive the high lift blade for free instead of an extra mulching blade, but that's what they did. So at this point, I have not seen an extended runtime blade for the 2024 model, just so you'll know. All right, and I don't know if they're gonna make one. All right, so we just took a look at the blades. Um, now let's talk about handles because the handles are different um, and they've evolved as well. So let me take a close look at each of these for a moment and show you how they've evolved. Now I'm gonna start off with 2020. And honestly, as you can see from 2020 to 2021, they, they haven't changed, all right? 2023 did and 24 did. As you can see, the handles are different. So the way this works is you pretty much have to, and let me just push this out. All right, so I do like the collapsible handle, by the way. So this has to be extended and these latches have to be in in order for it to work. But when you're done, you just open these up, push this down, lock it back in place. Okay, and then you just come over here and you just kind of pull this lever. Let me adjust the mower real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. So you just kind of, and again, I'm just doing this slowly on camera, but this is basically, you grab this, it does have a resting position, maybe if you want to get access to the bag, and then it does have a full drop. Now the one thing you'll see is the mower, as far as length, really doesn't change a lot because the handle collapses fully. Now when I show you the 2024 model, that's different. I don't really like that handle. It is probably stronger, to be honest with you, but I like this. And oh, by the way, your handle has three adjustments depending on how tall you are. So that's what this quick release lever is for. So this will go all the way down. It'll go in the middle 
and it'll go all the way up. And believe me, it makes a difference. You know, if you're shorter, to have the handle down more for you, or if you're taller, to have the handle higher for you. Uh, let's take a look at 23 and 24. So this is the LM2167 SP that got discontinued. Again, you had that speed IQ, that was the reason why, because the display I really like. And look at what they did to the handle. They took the wire away, they tucked it in, and they give you a simple pull that down, drop it, lock it, and you're done. So that was an improvement. I really like that. Now, as we go to 2024, that changed. Again, you're not going to see, you know, how compact it is. I'll show you in a minute. So here's 2024, right? Now you got no bar in the middle, which is great because you can grab the bag with no issue, right? But you don't have a collapse, so that's an extended handle. Again, it is probably stronger, to be honest with you, okay? And uh, your wires are not exposed, so again, that's good too because people were complaining about the older models that, you know, the wires might get caught on bushes as you're mowing and stuff. But as you can see, side by side with the 23 and the 24, right, 2023-24, you just grab this handle. It doesn't have any middle point. It will immediately close, right? It's just one less thing to do. But if you compare it, and you're going to throw this maybe in your truck or something. I'm trying to get these as even as I can. All right, it's a little off, not 100%, but I mean, look how much longer that is. That, that, I don't like that. Again, it is stronger. I'm not going to say it's not, but that's a look at the handles. Mower lights. Let's talk about LED lights. So every one of these models has LED lights. Now, these were a little bit slightly redesigned. I don't think for functionality, more for that green that Ego's known for, but as you could see, has three LEDs on this side and you get three on that side, okay? So that's a good look at that mean face. Now as you move to every other model, they're the same. They have three LEDs on both sides and they have that same look. All of them have LED lights if you get home late and you gotta mow because it's gonna rain tomorrow. Mower warranty, very simple. The mower warranties are five-year warranties across the board. Now, we talked just a little while ago about the 10-amp-hour batteries and the 7.5-amp-hour batteries. Go back because some of those have a five-year warranty as long as you register the battery. If you don't register the battery, you only get a three-year, all right? What about weight? Let's talk about weight. So let's go back to 2020. I'll start from the right. The LM2135SP was 55.3 pounds without a battery. Just so you'll know, this is all without a battery. 2021 LM2156SP, 55.56 pounds. So just a drop heavier, no big deal. Then the 2023 model, LM2167SP, is 59 pounds. You ready for this one? Adding an aluminum deck, larger wheels, the 2024 model LM2206SP is 83.8 pounds, and that's without a battery. Interesting, huh? So what are some differences? I want to add some additional differences. First of all, the 2024, all right, the LM2206SP comes with a lifetime warranty on the deck so that's pretty nice it also comes with bluetooth all right and you just connect this with the ego connect app not a regular app not the regular ego app but the ego connect app and then you'll be able to get some information for me it was just something that i wouldn't do with a mower although i'm a technical guy and the other thing, don't forget the 2023 did come with a beautiful digital display, even though it's discontinued. Um, you know, I, I did like that. So those are some other differences I wanted to point out. So let me talk about some videos that I did, and I'm going to pull up some images. If you want to see a more in-depth review, I also have head-to-head -head videos. 
So to the left, the 2024 LM2206 SP. I'm gonna pull up some images on the right side of the screen. I will put links in the video description if you wanna check out any of these videos, including the Milwaukee head-to-head. -head. That was really interesting. Now, what about the LM2167 SP? Well, it was short-lived, right? the 2023 model, but I'm going to pull up some images on the screen on the right side and I'll put some video links in the video description. I'll even share why I thought Speed IQ just wasn't worth it in my I, what I call my final conclusion. 2021, the Select Cut XP, I, I will pull up some videos on the left side of the screen. I did a bunch of videos with that one. Wow. And um, so video links will be in the video description. And 2020, all right, I will pull up on the left side of the screen some images so you could see the videos we did. And again, video links will be in the video description. Here's an opportunity for you to see the 2024 head-to-head -head we did with Milwaukee. As you could see, the image on the screen there is the video that we did. And it is very detailed. All right, I think it's definitely over an hour long, but it's got timestamps. I'm gonna put a link in the upper right hand corner called Head to Head. All right, when that pops up, just click on it and watch that video if you want, if you have time. You can always come back to it, but I'm gonna put the word Head to Head up in a moment if you wanna see that, ready? All right, here's the word Head to Head. Go ahead and click on that watch the video. I'll also put a link in the video description. All right, guys. Well, I sure hope that the information in this video was helpful. And if it was, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We would greatly appreciate it. It really, really helps. And share our video with your friends and your family. You could also follow us on social media right up top our social media and check out our new Tesla channel in the upper right hand corner. Look us up on YouTube at my Tesla journey one and subscribe. It's a new channel. There's a few videos for now. I'm going to put a video on the right hand side of the screen. If you want to check it out, it's right here. And if you want to subscribe to our channel here at tech made easy, go ahead and click this round tech made easy logo and you'll be able to subscribe to our channel and join the family. Guys, thanks so much for your time. I greatly appreciate it.